Yeah, well, we're talking about cake. <laughs> we're talking about cake. Tomorrow is cake. What about today? No. Today you had donuts. You had free donuts. What more do you want? And bagels. <laughs> Donuts, well, clearly, I want everything. I can go back to Dunkin' Donuts and get another drinking. That's another right. We can both donut. get coffee and get donuts again. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> you are live. Are, am I on? Okay. Yes, you oh, are. Oh, my goodness. I can see you. Hello. <laughs> Let's see if anybody's here yet. Or is everybody preparing for the retreat? Oh, Charlie's here. Charlie's here. Pam. Hi, Charlie. Is Charlie in uh, here, baby? Uh -huh. All right. Cheryl. Our Charlie. I want donuts. I'm... Don't go, go to Dunkin' Donuts. 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 Free donuts today, Charlie. I don't, why? Did they say why? No. Nope. It's just free hmm. donut day. Interesting. If you buy a drink. Yep. Oh. Any kind of drink. Yep. What if you buy seven drinks? You get I seven free donuts. Seven donuts. Damn. Hello, All right. Everybody. I think we're going to do a coffee run afterwards. I need a, a dozen cups of ice. <laughs> 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 We're going to be sewing until into it, almost dark. It's so weird oh, to say sorry that. I'm hear that, Shannon. Shannon's not going to be able to be in the retreat this afternoon, but tomorrow she will. Because she has a stupid job. That's oh, why. Well, we got to get rid of them. No I remember jobs. those days. Jobs are a pain in the butt. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I remember those days. I know. I can't go because I have to go to work. to work. Do you know how hard it was for me when I first started quilting? Because I worked, um, you know, I worked during the week, and my day off sometimes was the day a shop would be closed. Oh, gosh. And their late night was always like a Thursday. I don't know why Thursday is always the late night. Thursday was my late night at work. So I couldn't go anywhere unless a shop was open on a Sunday, and a lot of them around here were not open on Sundays. So it was just such a bummer. If I had a moment, I would run. I was like, oh, we got out early. I have to go to the quilt shop. Nancy so. knows why the Dunkin' Donuts has given up free donuts. Why? Tell it's us. It's your birthday! Oh! <laughs> Yes. Well, and Sandy, you're going to love the cork when you get it, and you'll want more. Trust me. <laughs> it's it's not my birthday technically anymore, no. but as Eric says, my birthday goes on for many, it's a many days. Week. Sometimes a month. It all depends <laughs> on how I feel. So, yes, my birthday was on Wednesday, and so many of you wished me a happy birthday, and you made my day every time I kept getting a notification because Sue Smith posted something in the group, and then everyone kept saying just really nice things to me. You guys, you make me happy. You're all so nice to me. And then afterwards, <laughs> Thursday was my log cabin day, so yep. they gave me presents and more cake, um, and I had cake at home. Eric bought me the tiniest, <laughs> it was the cutest <laughs> little cake I've ever seen. It was so tiny. It was like a flattened cupcake. It was like this big, but we ate that with the dogs, and he, hmm. he bought me flowers, too. You ate that with the dogs? Did yeah. good with the dogs? The dogs are allowed to have cake. Okay. It wasn't chocolate. Yeah, no, I don't give them chocolate. I'm not that bad of a dog owner. No, but they like cake. So Sue Smith wants us to guess what's in her cart. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you I know what it is because some of you already found it. So here's the thing. I'm not going to beat around the bush anymore and talk about my birthday, even though it's still technically my birthday forever. We won't um, let you forget it all Because weekend. I'm going to try to make this a shortened i know i know a shorter version um of our video today because it's retreat day so right. i'm just gonna get right into it and i'm gonna confess something to you guys band. thank you that was also from yeah. eric and Aww. my earrings yes is it a new watch out. Too? no same watch new band, new band. Oh, pretty, pretty. It's blingy. So, here's my big confession okay for the last <laughs> month i have not been carrying around a so many creations purse <laughs> at all it has been sitting here on the floor i have not carried it around and that is because i have a new wallet <laughs> and a new wallet pattern and i'm so excited <laughs> and before i show you mine that is full to the brim let me just show you that i think this one's my favorite it's that on the cover really pretty <gasps> it's the new pattern <laughs> so this is, is thank you this is the sammy zip around wallet and sammy is was my, my pop who's not with us anymore he left us last year and just like sam it is cute and little <laughs> and sometimes a pain in your butt but it's totally worth it in the end and the, i will show you the, i will show you the one place that i think it's a little bit of a pain in the butt but like i said just like just like little sam who is in heaven well he he might not be he was kind of a pain he might be down there we're not sure where he is he's in purgatory somewhere <laughs> <laughs> it is totally worth it, um, and it's fun, and it's actually not like a super hard make, 
But remember, sometimes wallets, because they're smaller, can be a little bit tedious because you have smaller things to work on. And I always think about this when people talk about like, oh, I'm going to start sewing and I'm going to make doll clothes for my kids and grandkids. And I'm like, why are you starting so small? Go a little bit bigger. It'll make your life easier. So sometimes mm -hmm. wallets are just as complex or simple as a bag, but it's getting your hands in little smaller places. So this I, right here, I have in front of me, there's a lot. There's a lot of um, trial and error that did not work. So I'm going to show you how it came to be. And then I'll show you what mine looks like fully loaded with stuff in one of our newer, newer corks. So this is the Sammy. Here's another one. This one I didn't get the wrist strap on yet. And we're going to talk about that today because we did them a little bit different. So let's, let's go back in history and see how this all started because these are all of the not quite rights. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I saved them for a video on purpose because I wanted to show you guys because you seem to like the last time when I showed you a bit of my process and my process is like watching a squirrel running across the road and not knowing where it's going and eventually it gets there sometimes it gets squashed. I did not get squashed. I made it across the road but it, it was it was an adventure. So think to yourselves. You think too. Maybe you guys have an answer. Something that you can't quite wrap your head around something that you want to be able to do maybe you don't understand how it's done or you just really want to you want to know how to do it you want to know how something works you ever have something like that not just in sewing mm -hmm. but something that you're like how do they do that how does that work and if you actually try it and you accomplish it how you feel like you're the smartest person in the world and for years years I have wanted to make a zip around wallet but every attempt I made was an utter failure and I just quit. I would try it once, I would think it would work and it wouldn't work. So when I finally got this to work, it was like the best day of my life. I think I text everybody I know and showed my <laughs> husband who was supportive but also not as interested as I had hoped he would be, but that's okay. So it started out like most zippered wallets do and it started as a flat version. So, okay. I have, because most mm -hmm. zippered wallets open totally mm -hmm. flat, these zip arounds. So I was like, okay, I got the general concept. However, I was having an issue on one side. One side with the zipper pull would work and one side was not working. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm halfway. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm getting there. So I got to think a little bit harder. So I tried it again, because maybe different fabric would make <laughs> my, my brain work better. And I tried it again. It still did not work quite right. So this was a round two. So then I explained to my husband what I was trying to do, and he had an idea, and he said, try it like this, because sometimes the mechanical side mm -hmm. of him, he'll think of something, and he's like, well, wouldn't it be this way? So I tried it his way, and I thought he was actually pretty smart, and it didn't work. <laughs> it, it was so close, but it didn't work. And on this like one, it was, closer. it was closer. On this one, I started playing around with the little gussets on the side and how tall would a zippered pouch be. I don't finish things. I just kind of like <laughs> make them to like to get the size. I'm not going to waste that much time, you know? Yeah. So, and I started drawing out where the card pockets would be and what did I want to put inside. And it almost worked. And then it didn't. And then I thought of another way that... I thought to myself, did I seriously just figure this out? I've been killing myself, and it was actually that simple, but then that one didn't work either. So here's another one, and I cut the zipper pulls off because oh, I reuse them. The zipper tape is nothing. But this one, I got excited because oh, I started putting stuff pretty. inside, yeah. and it didn't work. So that's okay. So <laughs> I, I kept on going. So then I was here one day, sitting at my yellow desk. Um, it is yellow, <laughs> bright yellow. And I thought, wait a minute. I think I have another way and I think it will work. And so I didn't want to, I was done with fabric. So I used <laughs> interfacing and I made notes on my interfacing <laughs> and I started doing it and it worked. And I was on to something. It worked exactly the way that I wanted to. Isn't it pretty? See, I make notes, gorgeous. I draw things. <laughs> Love it. This is going to be up for sale on eBay. Hey, no, Tula Pink sells her fabric with her writing on it. You can do the same. Anybody want to buy this? Anyone? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing nobody's jumping on that. So then when I really, really thought that it was going to work, I went on and I, I played and I almost had it. But I didn't like the corners. They were mm. bunching and they were giving me grief. And here's the thing. If it's going to give me grief, it's going to give you grief and then you're going to hate me. So I said, okay. Scrap that. We're going to start all over again. And I finally, finally got something that actually looked like a wallet. There you go. I finally got it. 
and it has to have a double pull because doing a single pull, trust me, you don't want to do that. So I didn't do anything inside. I just wanted to make sure. And I was like, okay, I got it. I figured out an accent. I, I, I got it. It was good. And then I played with this one to see if I could reduce some of the bulk in the seams. It looks ugly. So I didn't do that. But I was, I was getting somewhere. Did you make somewhere. the accent higher on that one? I did because I wanted it a little bit higher. Yeah. So yes, so this one okay. was a little bit higher. So I was playing. Yeah. I was it, I was making little baby steps. Yeah. I was getting there, and then I finally had it sorted out, and I made this one. And then this one I ripped <laughs> by accident. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to, but I um, cut it with my scissors by accident. But this one it worked. <laughs> it worked, and it has card pockets, and it has a zipper yeah. pouch, and it has all the stuff I've inside. Got it, so and everything. But I ripped it by accident. So I was really <laughs> excited to use it, and then I ripped it. So you know things happen. And then I thought, okay, before I start really getting into taking pictures and writing this pattern, let me just see if we can just do a single zip. Because a single zip is easier to put on. It's one zip. That's how most of these wallets look. Yeah, it did not work. Because on this side, there was a very high chance that you were going to lose your zipper pull when you opened your wallet because of the way it's made. And I thought, Fing! And there it goes, and now your wallet doesn't work. Oh, too bad, because I thought I, that would match my purse. No, you still have to make one. <laughs> so I was so, so, so close. So then I just went back, and I made the double zipper. And just like that, our little Sammy was born. <laughs> and beautiful, <laughs> and perfect, and everything that I wanted. There is only one little thing that doesn't make me happy. Uh -oh. But, trust me, if I can live with it, you can, because I am more anal than all of you. There is one little part in the finishing step that in order to make this not want you, like to, for you to not want to rip your hair out, there is a little raw edge down in the corners. Oh, God. That's if you're awful. super, super, <laughs> super anal and you're worse than I am, you can bind it. You can finish it. You can do whatever you really? want. I am not. No. Because when the wallet is being used... You'll you can't see it. see it. And when it's all tucked in, you can't see it. So the epiphany that I had in all of this is I already have a bag with a similar concept with a, a zip yeah. and the corners. Is it the mailman? No, it's Alonzo. Oh. Sorry, guys. I was like, who's outside? If the mailman's here, I'm running outside because I want thread. So I thought to myself, to run outside. <laughs> um, wait a minute. I have a bag that has a similar technique to it. I already designed this bag. I just have to make it in a smaller form. Do you want to guess which one it is? Look behind me. Which one do you think this is a mini version of? The Liana Bowler. There Bowler. you go. I was say the Bowler. It's the Liana Bowler bag Midget. in a tiny wallet form. It's a, it's a little bit different because the Liana has finished corners inside. This one does not because of the construction, but it's... Yeah, my brain just kind of went, hello. The light bulb was flickering for a while, and it finally got bright. And I was like, wait a minute. I already designed this bag. <laughs> I know how to make this all bag. That time. I spent all that time redesigning something I had already done. <laughs> Is it here? It's here. We have, uh -oh. to, take, we have to take a Delivery. Sammy break because I have to see. Yeah, I am so over it. My God, you got a lot of it. Because it's how they sell it. Okay. I will, I, let, oh, me, let oh. me go back to Sammy and then I will show you what I got because I'm very excited. When you get so, excited of it, you can give it to me. I know, we can all share it because there's 8,000 yards here. So, sorry, super sidetracked today. I love that you guys on Facebook are so used to this and I'm slowly getting <laughs> the people on YouTube to understand that I'm a little bit of a, a psycho. So, I made this one. I love this one. I love, I, I love Allison Glass and I love how bright and obnoxious this is. And I put, oops. What did I do here? Uh, oh, there uh -oh. We go. I put inside some tulip pink. I had some scraps. So I love this one. I will never use this one because it's so pretty and I don't want to get it dirty. But I made myself one. And for a month now, I have not carried a purse. Mm -hmm. I have been trying to retrain myself Ugh. to stop carrying around so much stuff. You guys Has saw it this. It, so far, it's been it's been Maybe successful. Maybe I can do it too. Yes. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> yes, there's aspirin in here. I do need that. There's yeah. some other things in here, but I haven't reached for anything in this bag in weeks. So I'm trying to retrain myself 
it will probably not last. I will create another bag pattern and I will want to carry it, but I'm going to ride this out for as long as I can. So we were getting ready to go to Ohio for my sister's graduation. I teased you guys with a picture of this, but I didn't tell you what I was making. And I've been carrying this since I left. Mm -hmm. And I have hooked my car keys on it because this is the only thing that I carry anywhere anymore. So I've got all my stuff on here. I can take my keys off because they're just hooked on with a swivel hook, but I'm, I'm set. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to carry anything else. So let me show you how it looks when it's full. <laughs> because it's full. It's full. It's full at the moment. There's too much stuff in here. I don't want to dump it all out, but there are 12 card slots. So there's six on each side. Yeah. So there's a change pouch, which I have no idea why I have so much change right now. It's full. And I don't, I don't normally carry that much change. I have a Band-Aid. I have lipstick. I have money How for once. Phone? And the phone fits. And my phone fits. There it is. And my phone fits. So Even with all that stuff. Even with all this stuff, which it's a little snug with all that stuff. But look at that. Take out that change and you'll be Take good. out the change and I'm good. So when we were in Ohio, we went to the zoo. We went to the museum. We went to a whole bunch of places. I brought my purse just in case. It's like a security I never blanket. took it out. It is. It's like my security <laughs> blanket. And I me. wanted to show you guys. This is a month of dirt. Okay. This cork has held up really yeah. nicely. The, it did not lose any of the metallic part of the butterflies. And a little bonus tip for you. You can iron this one. Remember when we got it in, we were like, can we iron it? Or is it like unicorn tears? It is not. I ironed that. And I just sat there and I kept ironing it just to see what would happen. And I wanted to show you, hopefully you'll be able to see this. I ironed this corner of the unicorn yeah. tears. Yeah, see how yeah, rough it is? Yeah. See this? That's what happened. Yeah. It goes away. It did not go away on this cork. It has not rubbed off. It has not picked off. I did not iron it off. So I am very happy. We will be getting more of this cork because you guys love it. I love it. They've even come to, to like it. Well, the strong, well, they have better feelings towards it. Yes, Marlene's yeah. still not, Marlene's not in love with it, but she can tolerate it more now. Right. We'll say that. And one of the other features of this wallet that I love, and of course it's optional, you don't have to, but if you want to carry it like I am, I decided to use our key fob holders. So we have these in all the colors. So we have them to match any of your zipper colors. We've got them all here. And we've had them for a while. And when I was doing shows, they were super, super mm -hmm. popular. They're not, they haven't been as popular lately. And I don't know why. Maybe once you make a key fob, you don't need another one. I don't know. But they're great but little gifts. They yeah. are. Great. And I was looking at this wristlet and thinking, well, I'm just going to do this. But I've already done this. I've mm -hmm. done the swivel hook thing. So why not use another cool piece of hardware that we have? I've seen people use these on bags, and I think they look cool. It's a little chunky. It's, you know, it's something different. And what I did is I hooked it right onto my zipper. So I didn't make oh, a tab. Okay, yeah. And it's not, I have the donut style zipper. You don't need the donut style. I have it hooked on the inner part of the zipper. It goes right through. So if you don't like the donut style and you want to use the rectangles, you can. And oh, I just wanted to show you really quickly how easy it is to put the key fob together. It's, it's seconds. Oh, God, yeah. So I have some here, and these are older ones that I made. And I have no idea why, but I made them very small. I don't think I like them over my wrist. I think I was holding them more. This one I carry like this. I like it here, and then I can tuck this under, or I can hold oh. on. I just like it bigger. I cut my strap 14 inches. I find that it's comfortable, it's plenty big. Even if this was winter time and I had a coat or gloves on, it's plenty big enough. You can make yours longer or shorter and it's included in the pattern so you have the instructions. But all you're gonna do is either make a handle out of your fabric or out of cork. And remember, when you're making it out of fabric, it's gonna be four times the width. These are an inch and a quarter. So you're gonna cut a five inch strip of fabric, put your inner facing on and fold it. And this is cork, but you would have your five inches, fold the center, fold the edges in and fold it in one more time. So you have four total layers of fabric and interfacing. Top stitch it just like you do any other handle. For the cork, you only need two and a half inches. You're gonna do the same thing, but you're just gonna fold it in half. Now I have this sample, which is already done, which has the raw edge on the side because I folded it in half. Mine, I actually wanted to get a little fancier and I folded it in towards the middle. Mm -hmm. So my seam is in the middle. You can always do that and it's the same measurement. The only difference is 
that takes a little bit more time because you have to mark the back of your cork to fold your edges in but it's the same two and a half inches. So once you have that done, and this was my demo piece from last week when Marlene and I were talking about paint. <laughs> so don't mind the fact that it's ugly. And it's it's been used for a lot of things. This strap used to be long and I demo on it and I keep cutting it down. <laughs> I want to see how short it is by the end of the year. So all you're going to do is finish your top stitch and get your handle ready. And if you want, you can stitch these ends closed if it's easier for you, just like eighth of an inch. Stitch them closed and you take your key fob hardware, and I put glue in mine, and I think that the glue is important because it's gonna add extra strength. Um, it's in the little instructions that come in your key fob, and it's also in the Sammy pattern. I use my Guterman, I put the glue right in that little V channel, and I put it right on here, and if you want, if you're doing other things, you can leave that in there and kind of just set it on your table and let it dry for a few minutes, let it get tacky, and then all I do, I used to use my rubber mallet, but I don't anymore because I just found that sometimes it would shift while I was trying to hit the hardware. I take a scrap. This is fusible fleece because it's what I always have. You can use batting, whatever you have. I wrap it around here and I just take my regular pliers so I don't mar the piece and squeeze. Get that on there. You can take the ring off if it's in your way. You give it a good squeeze and you're done. Let the glue set and it's good to go. Hook your little key split ring right into your zipper and you're done. It's literally five minutes. I think it probably takes the longest to do your top stitching, but it's nice and simple. It's included in the pattern, but if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But I I loved it and as soon as I made one on here, actually here, let me hold up the ones not clunking. I just thought it looked really cool because it just looks, it looks fancier than just like having a little tab and a swivel oh, hook. Yeah. And you can, still pull on it to open things. You can zip it however you want. If I zip it this way so that it's the top one, I keep, there we go, get it caught. Then I feel like it's kind of holding it together and nothing's gonna open, but these zippers don't open that easily no. anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's secure and I'm good to go. If I was going somewhere crowded and busy, this would probably not be what I would carry because I don't like having something dangling. I'd rather have a yeah. crossbody. Right. But walking around the zoo, walking around Ohio, going to a restaurant, I don't have to worry about where my purse is because it's one thing that I'm carrying and it's got all my stuff in it. Most of the time my phone is not in it because it's usually in my pocket, mm -hmm. but I can put my phone in it. Barb's phone is bigger than mine and it fits. Yep. And I think you guys are going to make some this yes, weekend, we right? At the I've, I've been challenged by Sue Smith. <laughs> I <laughs> get <carry> one. <laughs> so Sue, I'm going to try to make it this weekend. And I'm going to try to carry it for at least till next Friday to report back <laughs> and see if you can. See if I can do it. I just kind of <laughs> said to myself, you're carrying a purse. Yes, you use some of the stuff, but there's some stuff in there that I have not even opened. I use a lot of zippered pouches. I haven't looked in any of them. There's pockets in there. I have so much random crap in this purse that I know I don't need. And if I was going somewhere, like if, uh, if I'm traveling, I might want to bring my purse because there's other things, but it's stuff that I need but don't need every moment. For instance, my mom and I are going to Houston in the fall just to visit, not to vend, but we're going to go check out Quilt Festival. I will carry this with me because this oh, is all yeah. that I need when I'm yeah. at Quilt Festival. I need money, credit card, ID, that's it. And, you know, hotel key. I will have my purse because, of course, I'm going to need extra things for the plane, but I don't want to carry that with me around the show. I don't need yeah. to, yeah. you know, so that's enough for me. So this can be used as a wallet in my purse, and then when we get there, I'll take it out and I'll just carry that, obviously, minus my janitor set of keys here. I have a lot of office oh, keys I've and house be, keys. I've got you do be. have more, though. <laughs> yes, I part of your keys once. Why. I was like, <laughs> well, I had so, her office, Eric's office. I, my there's house, a lot of keys to my have. My car, Sean's car. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very, very excited about my new pattern. Oh, Here's Sammy. Is it downloadable? Yeah, I. I was just getting there. You guys. Oh, I'm sorry. There was no. a question. Oh, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> so I just got them printed. So if you do need a hard copy, yes, we have hard copies. Remember, order the digital, make a note. I did not kit anything because they're so small and scrap friendly. If you want me to kit some of these, I will absolutely do that for you. It will be next week after the retreat, but I didn't kit anything. I'll try to get some more pictures on the website for inspiration. It's up to you guys. We don't mind kitting things. Mm -hmm. I just didn't put anything up because I thought it's so, it, 
requires so little stuff that I didn't know if you guys would want it. If you do, you let me know and I will take care of it. Uh, the pattern is on the website and because it it's downloadable, because it's my birthday <laughs> uh -oh. week and forever, it is downloadable. So you can go get it right now, like some of you already did, even though I didn't upload uh -huh. it until 10 a.m. this morning. You can download it and it's on sale for six dollars oh, oh wow because june 6th so it's on sale until the end of sunday so till monday morning for six dollars instead That's of ten bargain and something that all you little cheaters didn't know uh -oh. is that we're also i'm giving you a birthday present from me and i am giving you a 10 percent discount for the weekend that you can use but remember this is already discounted you don't have to do anything you can add the discount but this is already six dollars regardless through the weekend. If you want to order other things and you want a discount, you have to put in the code. And it is birthday 10. So you can save 10% on anything, including this. You want this for $5.40? Go right ahead. <laughs> Happy birthday to all of you. So we will be retreating all weekend yep. and doing our thing. And I have no idea what we're in for because none of us have ever done a virtual retreat. Nope. Barb is our retreat queen. And in Marlene person. is the retreat princess. You're, That's right. You know? That's right. But they've gone to more than I have gone to, but we have never, none of us have ever done a virtual. Done so virtual. be kind to all of us this weekend because I have no idea how this is all going to go, but we're excited. The room is already set up. We're like ready to go. Oops, I forgot to turn my ringer off. Turn that off. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so you can download your pattern or ask for a paper copy. It's on sale. Sale price is already in there. And you can get 10% off if you use code BIRTHDAY10 today through the end of the weekend. And I'm going to upload this to YouTube to make sure that nobody there misses out. One quick question. Mm -hmm. Quilt Festival, do you remember the dates? Yeah, it's yes. It is October the October or November? It's October... 28th through the 31st okay. somewhere in that range don't quote me on it but it's preview night is thursday no wednesday night and then it's all day thursday friday saturday sunday i'm pretty sure it's the 28th through the 31st that's what i have written down all over there for when we're going to be there something like that so yeah. something like that my mom has not been to texas in years i haven't been in two years now i mm -hmm. love texas and we're just kind of nosy people and we want to see what a quilt show looks like now post pandemic we're almost out i don't i know we're not out but we're we're, yeah. on, we're, on the, we're around in the corner. Downhill. We're on the downhill part. So we're just curious. And I miss Texas. And so my mom is retired and said, let's go. So we're going. So if you're going to go, let me know. <laughs> next question. Yes. When's the next retreat? She missed Already? We haven't she, even gotten to the first she's a one. She's and didn't sign up. Who's that? <laughs> Rebecca Martinez. Oh, Rebecca. So um, I don't know, but you are not the first person to ask. And <laughs> it was already asked of me if there will be another would it possibly be in person? Mm -hmm. I do not have answers for that because I don't, and it's not, not that I'm thinking that this is gonna be dreadful this weekend. It's not because of this. Let me get through this to see what needs to change and what worked and what didn't work. I don't know because I don't know. I don't know yeah. how things are gonna go. When, I mean, really, I don't know because I no. don't know. When is your first in-person? September. September? Mm -hmm. So Barb's gonna let me know in September how her in-person goes, because <laughs> I will not be there. Um, I would love to have another virtual because I know it. Uh, it's, it's for all of you, anywhere that you are. It doesn't matter what state you live in. I would also love to try something in person, but that's going to be limited to you coming to me in New York. Yeah. And so it's, you know, I'm sure my good friend Barb here will help to arrange <laughs> it, but let's see how things start to go. And, and I'm sure we'll do another one and I'm sure we'll figure out some more fun things. Yes. Do you have, or do you plan to have a tutorial for the new pattern, the new wallet pattern? So... Do I have one yet? No. <laughs> Am I working on one? <laughs> yes. I just got my basement semi <laughs> uh, studio. It's not, it's interesting, but it works. I just got that set up this weekend, last weekend. And I actually made a couple of like, you know, trial run videos when I was home this week. And so far so good. I just have to get a little bit of time, but the retreat kind of took up this weekend and I did not get a chance to get this done ahead of time. 
I am working on another new pattern. I teased you guys with that too. I'm trying to get that done. Um, and so yes, I do want to get some more videos now that I'm finally set up. Our studio over there is temporarily postponed because of labor, <laughs> because of mm. prices, because of everything. So that's okay. It's all right. We're just going to not worry about that for now. I have gotten that set up so at least I can start to make some videos. So Charlie says when you have the in person, he's showing up with a sewing machine and an overnight bag. It better be. It might be the four of yeah. us, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to try some new things. And I'm always, always excited for your feedback. And I, you know, and I do take all of the information when you, you guys ask me for a bag retreat. That's why we're doing it. So, you know, be nice to me about it. But I do take all of the, you know, the things that you say, I do take them into consideration. Oh, another, so. uh, two questions. Yes. I'm comment. opening this while and I that wait. would love an in-person retreat, retreat with Jessica. Hint, barb, barb. Uh, <laughs> and um, how's the group pattern coming along? Pam wants to know. So, um, responding to the comment, I would also love for all of us to have an in-person retreat. And I think that we will plan that when we can, and we will start working on that. Barb is really going to be the one that helps me out with that, whether she wants to or not, because uh, she is I the expert you. in that area. <laughs> uh, the... Uh, group bag is next after this other bag. I do put things in an order because I have, I kind of have like a... She's organized. I have like a semi-schedule in my brain of how things have to come out based on products that we have and things that I've already started working on. So I did the wallet. The next bag is in process. It's... um. The samples are all done and it actually came out really good. It didn't take me, it only took me two tries to get it exactly how I wanted it. And then I will start writing that pattern. I've started, well, I started writing it. Then the group project is going to come. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the group project. If I want to do it with you guys as we go, or if I want to just do it and surprise you, I haven't decided yet on that. So we're probably going to wrap this up a little early today, but I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited it's for this. Retreat time. I'm, oh, she's so excited for it. I'm, she's got no oh, yes, I'm excited about the retreat too. Okay, listen, I cheated on Orifil. If you know anyone know Orifil, don't tell them. Because I don't even know what company this is. But What brand is it? It's not. It's their brand. It's a, the company's brand. What company? Wizard. 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 Yeah. Wizardry. <laughs> okay. I, I got a cone <laughs> of this. It is called Unicorn Mane. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> and it is a... It looks like Unicorn Mane. It is a rainbow variegated, insanely over the top. I love it. I'm so excited for this stuff because I keep seeing people using this online and talking about how it's never available. And so I thought, I'm just going to look. And they had it and I bought it. And this is the smallest size that they offered. <laughs> so I have... Um, let's see what here. What is it? 4,100 meters. <laughs> what weight is it? It's, it's um, Tex 45, 20 weight. So it's a little thick. Weight. It's a thick uh, one. I don't want them. Yeah. And it's a polyester. <laughs> and you know, I, for the long arm, you, it's too, it's too you know I don't love polyester, but it's not shiny. So yeah. it looks like cotton, feels like polyester. You can feel it's a sturdy thread. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's a heavy thread. Yeah. And I brought with me for the retreat my HG9. Uh, because it is a little bit lighter than carrying the 15,000. So I'm going to be putting this on there. I don't know what I'm going to make, but it's something getting top stitched with this. Or I'm just going to sit and look at it because it's so Somebody obnoxious. Somebody must know what it is. My it favorite is, thread ever. It is from, really? um, what, hold it's on. It's not from Seems I'm, So Awesome. Is nope, it? hold on. Let me, I'm going to look her up on Instagram because uh, I can't Everybody remember. Everybody wants an in-person retreat. <laughs> You're all going to come. They'll find a way. Okay. <laughs> I am not going to be selling this. This is her own product. So if you are interested in this and you want to know, and I will show you pictures over the weekend when I get it top stitched. Her Instagram handle is Geeky Hardware. <laughs> That's why I fell in love with it. I'm sure. It's called Wizardry Stitchery and Crafts. And her website is geekyhardware.com. She has a bunch of stuff on there, uh, but this somebody thread. Just it on here too. Yes, thank you to whoever posted that. Megan. Megan, thank you. I have been seeing people posting pictures of this, and I've been obsessed, so I needed it. I, this was a need, not a want. Is this on Etsy? Is that where you found it? I or? found it on Instagram. That's I found it on well. Instagram or on her website. If she has it on Etsy, I didn't see it, um, but I got it right on her website. And it came in pretty quick, actually. I think I ordered this wow. on. 
Sunday or Monday, and it's here oh, today. Wow, yeah. So it's not. It was pretty quick. Where's she located? I don't know because Eric took all oh, the boxes over there. I don't know where she's out of. So Marlene's going to check just for fun. So that's what I've been up to. She says it's one of Megan says one of her favorite shops. I am just so excited to try this out, and maybe I'll need more things from her. But I love this nice. Oh, somebody wants heavy. to know where to go. Louisiana. Louisiana. So. Oh, she, uh, not too bad. She wants to know how, well, she says I can't order the pattern with my order. Don't you have to do it because separately? Because you have to do it separately. You have to order digital yeah. products like patterns completely separate from your hardware and cork and all that. Just delete the pattern, do your first order right. if they're, you know, because it's easier, and then go back and order the pattern. You can use the coupon code more than once. And then if they wanted a paper copy? Re order the digital the copy because it's the only way I have it. Yeah. And write in the notes, please send paper copy. Well, I mean, the please is optional, but it's appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think that that's all the questions we see so far. And I, I will work I on a video for this, and I am going to do a free tutorial for it. It's not going to be a pay for video, so be patient with me. If you have questions, let me know. Um, if you've done the Liana bag, you have an idea where this is going. If you haven't, that's okay, too. But um, I'm very excited, and... I think that's going to do it. We are going to wrap this up early today so I can get it on YouTube and I can get over there and get our machines and everything set up. So unless there's any other questions, are we good? Yep. Are we good? Thank you so much again for I all the birthday wishes. Now, though, but that's all right. Okay. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I greatly appreciate it. And we will post pictures from the retreat. And if you didn't make it, we'll ha I guess we'll have to do another one so that all of you can make it. And we'll work on that in-person one too. So we'll see. Maybe when we don't have to be so distanced. Are you socially distancing at your September? My retreats always have a six to eight foot table each. That's so true. Barb's retreats, you get so much space. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot because it's been so long. Dance floor space. In the oh, bed. there's oh, so much room. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't have a problem with that. Perfect. So. All right. So we're gonna let it. We're gonna wrap it up, and I will see you guys next Friday. And I do know what we're talking about next Friday. We're okay. talking about handles because oh. Bobby and I had been emailing, and she asked me a question about a certain style handle. And we did handles so 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 long ago, mm -hmm. back back over there when the internet was terrible and the oh video God, quality was year. awful. That it was, was over it's been over a year. Ago. We've been doing this for over a year. It was a year in May. Isn't it crazy? So we're gonna talk about handles. So if you have handle or handle hard hardware questions or anything you want to know about handles, let me know for next week. Otherwise, we will see you on Friday. Barb's being <laughs> Barb. <laughs> Wrap it up, Barb. Okay. See you guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>